in a 458 around a racetrack driven by a proper race drive. Prius! Yes! Hey guys, welcome to Throwback Thursday on Supercars of London. The ironic part of this video is that there is a Prius right behind me. But I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see. I'm gonna pull over. Because he's trying to race me. There you go. As it drives past now. Lost. Oh my god, he's just cut across three lanes and gone on to uh, he's just cut across three lanes on the roundabout and gone on to the M1. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the introduction to my video um, of Throwback Thursday. I apologize for yeah, uh, last week, sorry, for not uploading a video. Um, I was up in Manchester with Aspect Valeting as they were detailing the McLaren 650S and I was unable to reach the upload time that I wanted to get. So, um Throwback Friday didn't have the same ring to it, which is why I left it and um, decided to do a uh, video today and bring it back. Um, what you've just not really seen, what I've just seen was a Toyota Prius was behind me. It then moved over into uh, the inside lane of a roundabout and then decided to cut across his lane, my lane, just behind me, then another lane, then went down the M1 into central London. So um, I can't really believe what I've just seen. A ridiculous movement um, and awful driving. This throwback Thursday goes back to when I uh, started my first supercar. It was actually before I started my first supercar and I was testing or doing some film testing with Premier Velocity and a couple of their cars. Premier Velocity are a supercar hire company in the UK and uh, they allowed me access to their whole fleet whilst I picked my dream first supercar which I eventually ended up with the Audi R8 but to begin with we tested a lot of their cars Ferrari 458, McLaren 12C Spider, and as well the SLS Roadster which was an unbelievably quick car, phenomenal performance, very very comfortable and an amazing soundtrack behind it and, and this funny video um, was probably one of the first times that I was actually on camera so I was quite awkward I didn't really know what I was talking about on camera or whether I was coming across well on camera however I was in the passenger seat and James a good friend of mine was driving the SLS and we were talking about MPG of the SLS AMG talking about how it does nine miles to the gallon it's a 6.2 naturally aspirated AMG engine and it is unbelievable but it does nine miles to the gallon, which is a lot less than this, and about on par with the Nissan GTRs, Lamborghinis, and Ferraris, and all those sorts of Italian supercars. So we were in a very, very um, gas-guzzling car, not very economically friendly or green, um, as I mentioned in the video. And what happened next was, um, I suggested to the viewer that if you wanted fuel economy you get a Prius. What I'm going to do now is play the video clip so that you guys can see what actually happened, what I actually said. We actually had two camera angles as well because we had a camera in a uh, Range Rover in front and then of course um, I was in the passenger seat, we had the SLS, I think we had the GoPro as well. So maybe we had three cameras, not entirely too sure. But anyway, this is the video clip, check it out. Start really getting into uh... If you do buy a car based on, if you do buy a supercar based on fuel, then you're not, you're, you're not you're, buying a supercar. Then you're not buying a supercar. You're not buying a supercar. Get a Prius. Get a Prius. <laughs> do you know what? Every time I drive past a Prius, I always down. There's a Prius here. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna Where's my video camera? <laughs> Greenpeace. So as I make a quick three-point turn good to go so that was the footage um, it was one of the first times that I was on camera I was quite nervous um, that the camera was actually pointing at me because for the first five years of supercars of London um, I was the other side of the camera filming supercars so for the attention um, and the video to be about me and the supercars it was a daunting experience but I think I was a lot more comfortable after that uh, moment because it was quite a funny and ironic moment that we were talking about uh, fuel economy 
we were talking about how bad supercars in general are um, for um, petrol and petrol consumption. And it actually ties in really well with living with a supercar this Saturday because I'm talking about the fuel economy of this car. And the idea that I'm doing Throwback Thursday from my car driving around is I'm actually going on a hunt for a Toyota Prius. Now at the beginning of the video, I actually had one behind me and it did the most ridiculous maneuver in a car I've ever seen. Um, but I want to try and find another one so that I can almost recreate um, the uh, rev from the SLS, but do it with my Army Tricks exhaust system because my it's still got a V8 and it actually has a um, a similar soundtrack to the uh, SLS. You just... But at the moment, it's quite quiet. Half past three in the afternoon, Thursday afternoon. Uh, is this one? No. Honda Jazz. Bad, bad misidentification of a car. Still no Priuses. I can't do it to just any old hybrid, it has to be a Prius. If this is a Prius coming up. Is it a Prius? No, it's a Vauxhall Corsa. But there might be a Prius coming this way. If there is, I need to be on the ball with this. Toyota I go. Not a Prius. The next Toyota that comes past. Prius or not, I'm revving it. Audi. Nissan. Mini. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Ugh. This Prius hunt isn't going how I was expecting it to go. For those of you that are wondering what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, <laughs> um, this isn't the best example of me working hard, um, driving around my car, looking for a Toyota Prius to rev it. Not the supercar that you really want. It's kind of like a normal saloon car with the performance of a supercar. Um, oh, there's a Prius, there's a Prius. But it's like all the way over there. You definitely wouldn't have seen that. understand how there is not one Prius next to me. <sighs> Such a fail. I really thought this video was going to be a good one. Prius hunting, throwback Thursday to when we actually hunted a Prius in the SLS AMG. But it seems that this baby blue Audi R8 repels the Prius. If there is not a Prius in the next 10 minutes, then I will count this video as a fail and I apologise for you having to sit through a long Throwback Thursday video without seeing a Prius. <sighs> what I might do is I might try and jinx it. I'm going to start signing off from the video in the hope that a Prius will then pop out of nowhere and um, I'll be able to rev my car in front of it. So there you go. I apologize for this video being a uh, total waste of your time. 
not being able to uh, find a Toyota Prius in Watford. Well, I, I found three, but they weren't in the close vicinity of my car for them to realize that I was actually revving at them. However, um, you may have seen a Toyota Prius in this part of the video on camera and then completely swerve off and go on the M1. I really should have chased him down and just hunted him down. However, I didn't, um, and I apologize for doing that. I hope you have enjoyed this Throwback Thursday, even if we weren't able to uh, find a Toyota Prius. And um, I look forward to seeing you over the weekend. Hold on, there's cars here. There's a lot of cars here. Not even one hybrid, still revving it. Is that a Prius? Not at all, not even one Prius. I thought that subs the, uh, the video sign off would work, but it didn't. However, this Saturday, living with a supercar, the fuel economy video, I'm really looking forward to that. I've edited that today and it is looking awesome. A quite a boring topic, um, but still an exciting video nonetheless because um, of the way that I filmed it. Is that the right way of saying it? Anyway, one other exciting thing. This Saturday, I'm going to be at the Long Cross Track Day, I think um, is the right way of saying it. Tim Burton, or Shmi150, nominated on his Instagram and Facebook page for me to go down and drive the Ferrari 458 Italia and the Lamborghini LP560 as well as having a hot lap in a 458 around a racetrack driven by a proper race drive. Prius! Yes! It. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm way too excited about that. Way too excited about that. Anyway, going back to this Saturday track day, um, I'm going to be driving a couple of supercars as well as being taken around um, the racetrack with a racing driver at the wheel in the Ferrari 458. So I'm nervous about that, but very, very excited. I'm going to be filming as part of the Virgin Experience days, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, and that's it. That is it. I cannot believe that I signed off and then the sort of bit after the sign off, I saw a Toyota Prius and able to uh, rev it. So yes, it wasn't a total waste of your time. I hope you stayed to the end and uh, watched all of this video. Shout out if you have like it, if you've watched the end of the video and actually saw that I uh, hunted down a Toyota Prius. Thanks guys. See you on Saturday.